Welcome back, I'm Matthias, this is the Retro 2 and I'm about to show you how it works. So what I'm doing is I connect the USB port of the Retro to this computer and you can see that the device shows up as a drive. Here it's named Retro and as I click on it we can see the file system that's on this device. Now the Retro is a USB adapter for uh, vintage video games and it's got these two slots. One is for Super Nintendo and the other one is for Sega Mega Drive games. So here I have a US copy of Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo and what I can do is I just plug it in like this and if you imagine this were a Windows machine then you would see this file showing up right away. However it is a Mac and Macs don't like it when you plug, on, uh, plug in and unplug um, media and devices. So I hit the reset button on the device and uh, it gets recognized again from the, by the operating system and as we check out the contents of, of the directory we've got two additional files named Super Mario Kart.sfc and the same .srm where the SFC stands for the ROM file, that's the chip in the cartridge that contains the actual game and the SRM is a battery backed safe game some cartridges have it, others don't. So now I've installed a Super Nintendo emulator on this system, it's named SNES 9X, you all know it, and this emulator is associated with ROM files. So I just have to double click on this thing and it will load the ROM into the emulator and just start, start the game. So you can hit keys on your keyboard and start playing right away. However, doing this on the keyboard, of course, is not as much fun as it would be on the real controller. So what I have here is a Super Nintendo game controller, and the Retro features two ports for these, one on the left and one on the right. So what I can do is I plug this in, like this, and now in the emulator application I hit Configure Controllers, and um, so it's got these buttons, I click the left button, followed by the left button on the, on the D-pad, then up, down, right, left shoulder button, right shoulder button, select, uh, start, that one's a bit sticky, Y, B, A, and X, there you go. Now the buttons are all configured, and as I hit the buttons here, you can, if you look closely, you can see how the, uh, the buttons on the screen follow whatever I'm doing. Alright, let's run the game again. So now I can actually play Super Mario Kart straight from the cartridge using the original controller but on any portable device that understands USB. So the shoulder button also works to jump and it's all there. Okay, so that's it. Um, you've seen that the Retro is really simple to set up, it's easy to use, and it's, yeah, it's just plain fun, and uh, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it. So, thanks for watching.